Ready for the 35th running of the 24-hour Le Mans auto race with an international field of the top drivers and the fastest machines on wheels. Back in 1963, Henry Ford II attempted to buy Enzo Ferrari's car business. But negotiations stalled when Enzo refused to sell his company's racing division. Ferrari's retraction did not please Mr. Ford. He declared that if Ford cannot buy Ferrari, then Ford will beat Ferrari. And with this proclamation, one of motorsport's most celebrated campaigns, Ford's quest to win at Le Mans, a race dominated by Ferrari's sports cars was flagged underway. Running to their cars in the traditional Le Mans start. The multi-million dollar program to build and test competition prototypes, cars pioneering the way to the now legendary Ford GT40, was given the green light. In terms of collectability and historical value, all surviving prototype cars of that landmark racing program have their place sealed in the chronicles of automotive achievement. But chassis number GT109 is one of a very small number of open cockpit competition roadsters. Arguably, this fact alone makes GT109 stand out amongst a prestigious group of peers. But there's something else about this car. For this particular rare GT Roadster prototype actually competed in the 1965 running of the Le Mans 24-hour race. Carrying the number 15 on its flanks and entered into this classic endurance race by Ford of France, GT109 became the one and only open cockpit Ford GT competition prototype to compete in Le Mans. We are now dealing with a car blessed with both a truly exceptional pedigree and a truly exceptional racing history. Having recently undergone a fastidiously detailed three-year restoration, equipped with correct magnesium wheels and powered by a Cobra Spec 289 cubic inch V8, this mated to a five-speed manual shift ZF transmission, chassis number GT109 has surely never looked more beguilingly attractive, has never sounded more intentionally aggressive. This gem of a car is a genuine piece of living history, a true masterpiece of automotive engineering. For this quite exquisite prototype roadster paved the way for Henry Ford II to decisively beat Enzo Ferrari at his own game.